Welcome back to This Old Sword Blade Reviews. That's me. <laughs> nope, not quite. But that's my avatar. Yes, so I've uh, been doing this for a while, so that's why uh, I'm an old sword, I suppose. And uh, I think we're going to have to rename the channel the Fixed Blade Review channel because um, lately I have been doing a lot of fixed blade reviews. And I have another one here that I couldn't resist from Blackrock Knives. The custom maker is Ken Vehikate. Uh, there is no CNC machining. It is all by hand. Uh, everything he does, um, the blanks are cut out by hand. He grinds by hand. The handles are fashioned by hand. He does beautiful Kydex sheaths. And they're made in Indiana, USA. So for you guys that want to buy U.S., uh, go see Ken. And it's an investment that is well worth it. What we've got here is a knife that he is calling the Vandal. Yes, there's a few other knives, uh, including LTK's folder called the Vandal. It might be even more than that. I left the sheath on because I wanted to show you this really nice uh, multicam uh, kind of... Uh, Woodland Camo uh, Kydex does a great job on his sheaths. They all fit snug, but look at that. They come off when you want them to. And this one comes with uh, kind of a DCC clip, a long one. I would call it a DCC clip. Um, of course, you know, I've got a lot of different clips, and I can attach just about anything that I want, depending upon how I'm going to wear that knife. But there is the Vandal. Check this out. It's um, ADC RV2. So yes, it is a uh, steel that, if you don't take care of it, will rust and may not be your best choice for uh, salty environments. Although, as I've mentioned before, what I use is a Flitz product called uh, Ceramic Sealant. And it's a liquid you spray on. It does not change the surface look at all. It is the same sort of uh, sealant that they put on expensive uh, exotic cars, or any car for that matter, to uh, last you about a year of uh, protection. Uh, I've tested it with um, uh, utility knives that I keep in my pocket, like small ones, right? And uh, those blades will rust in about a day or two in the summertime. And uh, I get a good month out of constant sweating on that thing in my pocket before I start to see any oxidation. So uh, that's what I already did with this, since uh, I am kind of sensitive to having tarnish and rust on my uh, blades. And if you're going to do any kind of food prep with it, then you would want to uh, also keep, uh, keep it from rusting. And uh, foods like acids and uh, citrus fruits and so forth are going to make a blade etch and tarnish faster. Um, that brings up the question, does the uh, ceramic sealant, uh, is it okay to use it on food? And so far as I know, yes, it is. It's pretty inert. It's not going to poison you. <laughs> Let's talk about the knife, shall we? It is a, about a four-inch blade. Uh, I'm going to be doing a review on a number of different blades in the four inch category because I have been doing three to three and a half inch uh, knives that are pocketable. And this is like the next size up. So this is a full size knife as far as fitting in the hand goes. He uh, used a uh, three color G10 here in layers that he beautifully sculpted to bring out the pattern. Um, just really incredible. Look at that. And that's all hand done. Well, machines, but handheld, right? Um, and for the money, and Ken gets about 300 for this, uh, for the money, there are manufacturers, or I should say makers, charging more for knives that are strictly made on machines and with a little bit of hand finishing. So uh, what you're getting here is a custom custom, right? It is not forged. It is stock removal. He does this beautiful stone pattern on all of his blades, on both the spines, as you can see, the tang, and uh, 
does some pretty heavy jimping here for your thumb. Doesn't hurt. It's it's bumpy actually, uh, but very very ergonomic. I mean, one finger, two fingers, third finger, and you got some left over there. If you wish, you could hold this knife in pical very easily. Edge will be out, but you still have that nice 90 degree that I look for when I'm holding a knife with a point down. All right. Well, we're going to measure it up. Enough chatting. Then I'm going to do a compare with some other knives in the same size range. Eight and a quarter inches overall. So it's right in that ballpark. Four inch blade to the handle and uh, about uh, 3.6 cutting edge. And where did it go? Okay. Here we go. In inches, handle at the widest point, 0.61, but it is heavily contoured and rounded. You don't feel that thickness at all. Uh, the blade stock, if I get it, when did I get it? Uh, where am I going to get it? I think that would be accurate. Sorry, folks. Is that a 0 0.31? Let me get it here. Because it looks a little thicker than that. 0.15, which in millimeters is 3.8. That's a little tough because there's so much contouring on this knife. And the weight. Without the sheath, we'll do it with the sheath too. What the heck? Five ounces. I'm going to call that five, 505, right? 505. If we simply see if we can add the sheath on there, it bumps it up to 7.2. So uh, the sheath itself, therefore, 2.1, uh, 2.2 ounces. Kydex is pretty light. Okay. So as I say, um, and, and the 808, what is the 808? The uh, ADC RV2 is a very tough steel with great edge holding, uh, although it is not corrosion resistant. Uh, you can look it up on uh, knife steel. What is it? Uh, knife steel. Knife steel. I got it on my phone here. Hang on. Knife Steel Compositions. It's uh, an app I have on Android, and I think they got it for iPhones as well, your iDevices. So there's the Vandal. Here is the Carl from Auxiliary Manufacturing. And as I said, right there in the same ballpark, just about exactly, just about exactly, exactly the same length. This has got the... Uh, this wild fat carbon on here. And uh, this one is in Magna Cut. Uh, his Magna Cut, by the way, is like 63, 64, I believe. He does a rock pattern there too. And also on the handle, completely on the handle. A little different patterning here, kind of that diagonal um, grinding or milling or whatever you want to call it. Um, so that's for size comparison with another manufacturer. I don't want to get the wrong sheath going, or do I? Here we go. DCC style clip on that guy as well. Here's another one by Ken. This he calls the boot, and it's a ring dagger. It's a beauty. It's bigger, definitely bigger, and a little more to carry by a good what? Two inches. So uh, while not heavy and not big, it's got the same grinding, I want to call it that, stock removal on the handle that gives you that beautiful patterning. Uh, in this case, we've got uh, two-tone G10. Beautiful knife. I mean, look at the way that pattern goes down the center. There's his logo, ROC. It's Black Rock ROC, not ROCK, by the way. Great uh, 
gray sheath with this one. This one I was able to specify handle materials and uh, sheath. And here is the Garial. This is an amazingly large knife. Let's see if I can even I'm have to back out a little bit. Yep. This is the Garial. It's kind of based on, it's kind of a cross between his Gator model and the Garial. It's, so it's kind of a Garial uh, special. <laughs> it's got the Garial handle and it's got the, ga the uh, Gator style blade. Look at this thing. Massive clipped Bowie, I would call it. Lots of handle, lots of jimping. Might be a, eh, might be a little rough on your thumb, but with gloves on, it's beautiful. Look at that knife. And um, can't say I've recalled the steel on this one. I've got little notes and tags on everything, but uh, it's also high carbon steel. Look at that. And that's going to be just a bit bigger <laughs> than this midsize four inch knife. But uh, that'll show you some of Ken's work, which is just uh, extraordinary. Got a uh, Odie Green Kydex on that one with uh, Scout style carry straps. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful knife. Got quite a few of Ken's. Well, not quite a few, maybe half a dozen or so. And um, this is the latest edition. So. Hope you enjoyed this review of uh, The Vandal by Black Rock Knives. Ken Vahikate, custom maker in Indiana. And uh, go visit Ken out on Instagram. I'll leave you the link. Be well. Take care. Come on back soon.